channel welcome back to pink's world and today i'm actually doing a mukbang slash story time i want to tell y'all why i ain't never trying to spend another birthday in atlanta <laughs> so if you're interested keep watching If you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe. Because if you not subscribe by now, we waiting on you. I was cooking with my goddaughter. So I actually made, I call it gumbo. It's tomatoes, corn, and rice, and shrimp. And then I made like some chicken in the air fryer. Soon after. Back to back, and let me tell you about the first year. It's my 25th birthday. I just got, I'm talking about, you know, 25 is a big deal. Like, oh, I'm on G status. Boy, if you don't, you know, it's a big deal. I went and got a photo shoot done. And everything, like, I was lit. So I'm like, okay, cool. It's my 25th OG. It's a fucking quarter century, you know, making a, you know, that's a big deal. So I'm going to Atlanta with my friends, but I'm meeting them in Atlanta. So I'm supposed to drive down by myself. Everybody else is supposed to drive down whenever on that Friday. So that Friday is my birthday. So, get dressed. Now, in the cutest little outfit, mind you, back then, I was driving a 98 Honda Civic. Damn. So, y'all, I had, like, a legit version of a tutu. So, and it was raggedy. I'm not gonna lie. It was raggedy. I knew I needed a new car, but I was like, no, I'm gonna have a good birthday, and I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a car at the beginning of the year. <laughs> Baby, so I thought. So I'm driving from Greenville to Atlanta. It's literally like two hours or whatever. Like, depending on what side of Atlanta you're going to. So I get in my car, packed up, fully dressed, you know, ready. I got on a cute little birthday dress. It's my job, it's cold. My birthday is in November. It's freaking cold. But whatever. I'm in my car. I feel like I was car hotel. Like I just knew. It wasn't go I wasn't gonna have time to get cold so I think I'm probably an hour outside of Greenville fucking car just start acting crazy so I'm like what the hell is going on my car is just like a light came on and then that, that bitch was acting like he didn't want to go so I saw an exit coming up like while it was happening I'm on my phone googling like an auto repair shop mind you I left so late I was supposed to leave early. I left so late. It was almost like almost five o'clock on a Friday. No shops be closed. So I'm like looking it up, trying to figure out what's the closest shop while I'm on the on the fucking highway. So I come across this little shop. Um, I go there. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna let them look at my car so they can tell me what you know what's going on. Bitch, I get out. It's a motherfucking Trump sticker in the window on top of a water fountain outside. So I'm like, oh, hell no. No, I don't know where I'm at. And then I knocked on the door and I'm like, yeah, I need my car looked at, whatever, whatever. And they was like, oh, he can't, he, he coming to look at it. It's two white men and one white man all the way to the back. He the boy supposed to be looking at my car. It was like, you can come in here and sit down if you want to while he checking it out. Fuck no. Bitch, I'm going to sit in my motherfucking car. I don't trust y'all for shit. I don't know where I am. I'm by myself. I got this little ass dress. Uh-uh. I don't play with nobody about my life. Period. Period. So, I go sit in the car. The guy's like, oh, it's your Cadillac converter or whatever the fuck. I don't know what that is. Really, nigga? 
And the guy who looked at my car, he was so sweet. I really think he had like a little crush on me. Cause he was like, well, yeah, I know somebody that can fix it, but it's, it's five o'clock. Nobody's trying to stay open to fix that. So I'm like, fuck. And I'm like, well, I'm trying to go to Atlanta. And he was like, baby, you ain't gonna make it to Atlanta. Your best bet, turn around and go back home. So I'm like, damn. But okay, I feel you. I'll go back home. So, get back on the road. Go home. Car stops running hot. Like, hot, hot. And I just, I had no choice but to pull over. And wait, mind you, I'm going back to Greenville with my car. So, pull over on the side of the road, call my insurance. I'm like, yeah, I need a tow truck. Um, my car, not really what it, doing what it do. What? Bro, what are you talking like, about? Okay, wait on the tow truck. Since I'm going back to Greenville, these motherfuckers gonna get me a tow truck that gotta come all the way from Greenville. So literally, I had to wait an hour for the tow truck to get to me, all for us to load up and turn around and go all the way back to Greenville. And the man at the shop, I think he liked me, so come to find out, he was like, I knew your car wasn't gonna make it, so I decided to just drive down drive down the interstate to see if i saw you on the side of the road so and come find out i was broke down which i'm glad he did stop because i was hesitant at first my mom was like make sure you act like somebody know where you at and, <laughs> and like they expect me you like just it was just so scary on top of it's my birthday so i'm just like crying you know having the worst fucking day it's my birthday i take my birthday so seriously so i'm just crying I'm like, birthday fucked up. Whatever. So the man came. He, he he got in the car with me. So he's like, well, let's just, um, I'll sit with you for a little while till the tow truck come. Come to find out, like I said, the truck sticker. This county that I'm in, I don't, I can't remember the name of the county. Racist than a motherfucker. I'm talking about, yeah. Because I could tell by how the, how the guy was acting. He was like, yeah, I'm going to sit with you and make sure you good. And I'm like, okay, cool. So, um, we sitting there, we in my car. Now, mind you, my car is like fucked up. So now my heat not working. Like my car is just like not cranking at all. Like it's all fucked up. So heat not working. It's November, I got my dress, it's cold. So he was like, well, let's um, come sit in the car with me. So I'm like, I don't know about that shit. <laughs> you know, I'm scary. But honestly, I really feel like this man was my guardian angel because literally I was like, okay, I'm gonna go sit in the car with him, but I ain't no fucking fool. I done ding around my car. I keep a knife in my purse. On top of that, I'm like, okay, what else you got? Only thing else in my car is a screw, uh, a fucking, some pliers. Y'all, I took my pliers with me. I said, he fuck with me if he wants to. I'm gonna stab these pliers in his fucking eye like a scary movie. I don't care. Just like that. <laughs> my life, I don't play about it. So, I'm like, okay, cool. I'm sitting in the car with him. So, everybody who pulls up to see what's going on, he automatically jumping out to go talk to them. So, I'm like, okay, I don't... This one, I'm really trying to figure out that this is a racist-ass county. Um, the sheriff pulls up on us. I'm, at this point, y'all, I'm smoking. Because I asked him, could I smoke in his car? And I was like, no. Matter of fact, I said... I'm about to go get back in my car for a little bit so I can smoke. And he's like, oh, you can smoke in here. And I'm like, well, what I'm about to smoke is not necessarily legal. So he was like, oh, you good, you good. Like, like I said, he had a little crush on me. So I go, I'm like, okay, cool. So I'm smoking in his car. Motherfucking sheriff, the sheriff pulls up. So goddamn, he like, don't, don't move, I got you. So I'm like, okay, he go talk to them. Y'all, motherfucking sheriff look like a straight, straight racist person. <laughs> Y'all, he got the buzz cut and all kinds of shit. So I'm just like, oh my God. So he go talk to him, everything cool, he ride off. I'm like, okay, cool. I kind of understand why you, why you, you know, a little protective on me. Like I said, I really feel like he was my guardian angel. So then, tow truck finally pull up. 
he go the tow truck man was he turned out to be cool as fuck but he went to the tow truck man he was like yeah it's a black girl just want to know if it's okay like would you still take her and the guy was like yeah I guess he said okay or whatever because when I got in the car with him he was cool he was like yeah he asked me did I mind that you was a black girl da 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 da, da. and I, I was like yeah apparently this county is like racist or whatever and he was a white guy but he actually ended up being really really cool so I got comfortable my mom was like still make sure you you make it known like talking on the phone like yeah somebody waiting on you to come back <laughs> so he don't just take you so I'm like okay I make sure that's known we get back to Greenville mind you it's like an hour ride he took him an hour to get to me now we going an hour back okay I get some miles my cousins that was supposed to meet me in Atlanta I was able to talk them into um meeting me in Greenville so I could just ride with them because it's my birthday still trying to get to Atlanta with my, I'm talking about I unload my shit load my shit up in my cousin's car and we going we going back to Atlanta y'all why the fuck we was 7 minutes from my house 7 that's it 7 minutes oh don't worry about my hand I actually did this while I was cooking just now with my god baby I, don't, I, I might have to go to the hospital I'm not sure pull the fuck over by the police Mind you, we smoking in the car. So I'm like, oh shit, whatever I have is getting took. Don't worry about where it's getting took, that bitch is getting took. Period. So I took mine. My cousin, this motherfucker on parole. Probation. So goddamn, he tell him, yeah, I'm on probation. So you know, he go ahead and tell him that. So they's like, okay, we'll search car. At this point, it's raining cats and motherfucking dogs in Greenville. And it's cold. So, goddamn, at first, it was drizzling. So, we got the car, it's drizzling. We talking, I'm like, yeah, it's my birthday. We going to Atlanta, whoop de whoop de whoop They go to search in the car. They find something in the car. Bitch, some people came back and put us in handcuffs so motherfucking fast. So, mind you, my... Birthday hair, birthday makeup, all that is getting ruined. Well, actually, my frontal stayed on good. Like, shout out to Kyra. She did my frontal so good. It actually lasted through the rain. But I'm outside in the rain, soft and wet, handcuffs behind my back, hair getting wet. I'm shivering because I'm dressing this cold. I'm shivering my ass. I'm talking about my teeth are chattering and everything. Bitch, all that for them to let me and my my cousin go and take the other two people to jail. Because one of them had a warrant. Y'all, at that point, I said, I don't give a fuck about Atlanta. I just want to go home, take a shower, get in my bed. Because right now, I, I probably got pneumonia. So I just want to go home and go to sleep. Did that. Went to Atlanta the next day with my roommate. Because she was supposed to come the next day. Went to Atlanta, had a ball. So this is what I want you to do. On the count of three, I want you to tell the birthday person happy birthday and scream that shit to the top of your lungs. Facts. Fast forward. 2020. Going to Atlanta for my birthday again. I told everybody, I was like, I don't want to do nothing for my birthday, really. You know, last year was a buzz. I got a lot of shit going on. I'm just trying to, um, you know, just trying to chill. You know, let's, like, I'll go get a massage and let's chill. Everybody like, no, we gotta do something. It's your birthday. So I'm like, okay, fuck it. We're gonna go to Atlanta. Atlanta's right there. Get up, go to Atlanta. This time I said I wanna go for one day. So we go to, my birthday is on Sunday. We go Saturday. As soon as we get in Atlanta, we get to the restaurant. My, my sister car got stuck in reverse. It was some shit going on with her car. So we couldn't figure out what was going on. And I'm like, oh shit, here we go. Here go that Atlanta shit. The curse, I ain't supposed to be down here for my birthday or whatever. That is just, must be not meant to be. So I fucking. He fucking that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Oh, God. <laughs> Stop, y'all, y'all are being mean. <laughs> 
We ended up calling her stepdaddy. So he tells her how to uh So boom, that happened. Good. We get to the Airbnb, we check in. We good, we start getting dressed for the club. Go to the club. Get a section. It was only three of us that went for my birthday. Like damn, that's fucked up that we gotta pay for that section. For just us. Met some other girls, they like, y'all wanna give us the, the half? The rest of my hand, we just, we go like that. We was like, shit, yeah, why not? Now it's six of us. So, amazing time. Party, turn up, everything. Hey, my Right after the club. Right after the club. Shit, shit start popping off. Arguments start happening. Motherfuckers start going crazy. Right now, we wake up. I wake up. So I was fucked up. I went to sleep. Bitch, I'm gonna be sleep peacefully. I wake up. One of our people is missing. We don't know what the fuck going on. Mind you, when I wake up, it's my actual birthday. I had plans. She missing. We don't know what the, what the fuck happened to us. So, automatically, panic set in. Like, yo, we in Atlanta. Atlanta got all these people. Trafficking is real. Goddamn kidnapping is real. So, we're panicking. We're, like, going to all the local places, like hospitals, train stations. Like, we going everywhere, showing her picture around, like, trying to figure out what's going on. Y'all, come to find out, Shorty got mad and caught a ride back home. So I'm like, how the fuck you caught a ride back home? Somebody came and got her, and she went back home. Left us, and didn't say nothing. So obviously, we woke up panicking. Then, come to find out, she has the car keys. So, bitch, we're stranded in Atlanta while she's going home. So I'm just like, wow. <laughs> Another birthday just fucked. Even on the night before, it was cool it's crazy as hell to think back on it now because like everybody cool now but it's like damn you you next level petty it's like i friend, i know you petty now you love us but i mean i ended up getting back home and everything safe and secure but it's just like it was crazy that i didn't do anything on my birthday except for worry about somebody and have to catch a ride home atlanta Never plan another birthday vacation there ever. Now some regular shit. Let's go to let's go to the A. Sure, my birthday. Mm -mm. That shit was the worst experience. Two years back to back. So yeah. No. <laughs> That's the end of my story time. I'm about to finish eating. You know, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm also taking suggestions to content. So, you know, let your girl know. And until next time.